Today we're going to take a look at Zephyr for Jira, the leading test and quality management plugin installed right inside of Atlassian's Jira. Let's dive in. When you install Zephyr for Jira, you'll have test menu options available to you to expose all the rich functionality that Zephyr for Jira adds. For instance, on the left hand side, you can click the test menu option and come to a test summary screen. Here we can see an overview of all the testing activities happening within our project. For instance, our tests categorized by version, component, or label. Testing activities happen within test cycles. So here we can see various test cycles scheduled against our different release versions within this project. So for instance, we have version one with sprint one tests, along with folders for organizing tests within this cycle for email, API, and calendar. Each cycle has its own status in terms of execution progress, allowing you to quickly and easily see the status of your testing activities and for your whole team to be exposed to what is the activities happening for the quality management of this particular project. We'll dive into test cycles more in just a minute. You can also see traceability. This is critical because it allows you to quickly dive into the traceability of your requirements through testing and defects. So here I can see Titan 4 is being validated by two tests and has multiple failures along with multiple defects. This is a great report because it allows project managers or those involved in the project to quickly see what is the status of the testing activities for this particular component. There's also rich integration with Atlassian's Jira scrum boards. This allows you to easily see, for instance, all of your testing activities by sprint. So if I wanted to see which testing cycles are mapped to this particular by sp particular sprint or testing by issue. So here Titan 9 has one test and it's still work in progress. Again, allowing you to easily see the testing activities and quickly manage your project's quality activities. Now going back to our test summary, we're going to go ahead and create a test. A test is nothing more than a JIRA issue of the type test. So I'll go ahead and put in type test. We'll put in a summary. You can fill out all of the other fields as necessary and then click create. Once that's created, we have a new issue and we can go ahead and treat it just like any other JIRA issue. So we'll go ahead and give this a component of calendar, but we'll label it a smoke test. So we want this test to be part of our smoke test suite. Then we'll go ahead and add test steps. And you can continue to add as many steps as necessary for this particular test case. It's as simple as adding JIRA issues of the type test and that'll build up your repository of tests within this particular project. Now when you have tests and other map to requirements, you'll be able to see that relationship right inside of each story and again through Zephyr's powerful reporting. So here we can see this particular story is mapped to these two particular test cases. And if we look at those test cases, we can also see all of the testing status and steps along with the stories they relate to. Zephyr also has rich integration with Jira's dashboards. So here we can go ahead and see the status of our testing activities through various gadgets. These can be plotted along with gadgets that are available, traditional Jira gadgets, so that you can build project or program level dashboards. Zephyr for Jira also allows you to use some of the built-in reporting capabilities that come installed when you install the plugin. So here we have test execution report, test burndown chart, and top defects impacting testing. So again, when you add Zephyr for Jira, you're adding rich functionality for managing quality right inside of Atlassian's Jira. You'll have reporting and summary screens. You'll have the ability to schedule and execute tests in various cycles. For instance, under Sprint 1 tests, if I wanted to go ahead and execute a test that hasn't been executed, I can go ahead and click on it and choose to execute it. 
we'll go ahead and fail this particular test. And you gain traceability by having your tests mapped to stories or other requirements types and seeing the overall status of the flow of those requirements through to test execution and defects. And last, we have rich integration with Agile boards through the use of mapping your sprints to test cycles and mapping your issues or your stories to test cases. And that's Zephyr for JIRA. Again, the leading test and quality management plugin for JIRA. For more information, see us in the marketplace.